I've had so many people asking me, can I be able to pay my tuition fee being a self-sponsored international student in Poland? I was like, okay. I won't say yes at the same time I won't say no. So details of this I'm going to be letting you all know in this video. Welcome back. So like I said in the intro, today's video is going to be all about um for those consigned international students who are yet to come to Poland because I've had several people sending me DM. Some are scared that they don't want to get stuck when they come here why some um they their sponsor was able to like okay i'll pay your first year then take care of your accommodation and also your remaining tuition fee which is your second year third year why some are masters the second year so i said okay i'm tired of like replying 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 so i just said let me do this video so that um you can watch it to know how you fit in based on the criteria i'm going to be listing in this video so you look at your lifestyle i know how you fit in yeah so before i go ahead i want to urge you to subscribe to my channel i usually forget to say this most times please subscribe to my channel it's very important yes so there are so many factors um we we're going to be looking at in this video that you can look at it and see how you fit in that will determine if you if you can pay your tuition fee because this um questions that i usually get from people i really cannot say yes at the same time i really cannot say no yes because if i say no i'll be discouraging you if i say yes i'll be high in your moral like i'll be keeping your hopes high over high <laughs> so i really don't want to do that so that is why i just said okay let me come here give a detailed video so you watch it and yeah so first is there's something they call minimum wage you have to look at the minimum wage in poland minimum wage um, people that fall into this minimum wage are those doing the maybe like the sales factory work and um well those working in um in the bank and other biggest company they may not fall within this minimum wage because there are still some people here in Poland that receive as high as 100 zloty per hour, 50 zloty, 40 zloty, 60 zloty. So depending on the company, but those people among the international uh, students, maybe like those people with special skills, like those in the software, engineering, those in data science, data science are very, as in they are always sought for in this um poland data science people are really selling very well because i've seen so many posts where you know anybody in data science data science that have knowledge in yeah so so now what determines the amount you receive as a minimum which de depends on your age there's something here in poland where if you have 26 years and below you don't pay tax if you are between if you are below 26 or you're 26 years old you will not pay tax yes this set of people are very lucky i wish i'm 25. <laughs> i wish to be 25 seriously like man this adulthood no just good at all me i don't like them <laughs> i don't like it because you have to pay tax so if you are above 26 mm, unfortunately you will pay tax that is a problem in poland i think germany they don't do that mm -mm. Whatever age you are, be you 22, 28, 30, still the same minimum wage. So yeah, unfortunately in Poland, if you are 26 years old and younger, you don't pay tax. So this set of people, they are lucky if their um, salary, based on where they work, if it's 2,005, 3,005, 4,000, so they get exactly what they work for so but there's this health insurance so depending on the company some company pay you pay your health insurance without deducting it from your money why some they deduct it from your money so i just check with the company you want to work with um how is what are what about other deduction that is aside tax depending on your age but for those set of people that are both 26 if someone that is below 26 receiving 3500 is worth it so definitely you will not receive that same amount because they're going to tax it. So at the end of the day, maybe what you get is 2009 or 
3,000. So I don't know how the taxing system work here. I guess it's, I think it's 24% of your total earnings. So maybe there's some additional, but you can always go for tax re return at the end of the year. So now let's look at the companies, depending on where you want to work. That determines how much you're going to, how much is going to be your take home, your paycheck. Those working, those with special skills, those in software engineering. So definitely the in as high as from 6,000, 7,000, even up to like 10, 12,000 subwati per month. If you have a very special skills, if you don't have any special skills and you're kind of like, okay, where can you fit in? Let's look at the factory jobs. There are so many good factory jobs, not really like, not the um african kind of factory job that you are used to where you though there are still some of all those factory jobs here where you work work your acts out but you may be lucky to work in a very married factory work that is not so tedious like the chocolates or chicken factory i hear chicken factory is not so difficult to just decode and also maybe like cosmetics i saw a bunch of them out there i really cannot name them all now that is when the minimum wage plays in that is when the minimum wage comes in they pay you based on the minimum wage so if you are above 26 you may end up going home with 17 18 or even 19 is what it depending on the company but if you are below 26 if you are 26 years old or below you go home with 22 or 23 is what because the minimum wage is between 22 to 23 so what's it as at last year so i don't know this year so now let's if you factor that in let's now look at your accommodation the city where you're staying because sometimes there are some jobs that you need to go to other city to do so now if you now go to other city to work you will need to pay your accommodation in your um where your main base of where you let me say for instance you are in in bodigosh and you decide to go to Warsaw to work, you're going to pay accommodation in Budgosh and also you're going to pay in Warsaw. So factor that in. So another thing is there's this particular job they call Sightel, customer care job, not only Sightel, there's so a bunch of them out there that offer this customer care. Some of them, the customer care is um, just send mail, while some is actually like you talk to the customers. So those kind of jobs, they pay them within 3,000, 3,500, 4,000, 4,500. I think I heard some people even receive up to 5,000 depending on your rack in the company. So at the end of the day, you will now look at how much you're going to go home with. But for factory jobs, the amount you go home with depending on how, mo how many hours, how much effort are you ready to put in. Depending on how many hours of effort are you ready to put in. Some of these factory jobs are eight hours shift per day why some 12 hour shift majority of them are eight hour shift per day you now look at if you're above 26 you pay you they'll pay you 17 or 18 or even 19 hour um zwarty per hour calculate how many eight hours per day maybe you work five days in a week definitely you cannot work like the seven days in a week because body no be firewood like your body need to rest well, some people work for four days in a week. Maybe the last day, they will just take like double shift. So calculate it. See how many days you can work. Calculate it. See how much you can make at the end of the month. So after you've done that calculation and you've calculated how much you pay for your rent, if you live in your city to another city, remember your rent will be double. Probably maybe the next city you're going to work, you are sharing accommodation with someone. But whatever, whichever way you decide to do, definitely your rent is definitely going to be double. Factor that in. Maybe your your accommodation at the end of the month is one thousand two or one thousand three or one five. Now look at how much your take home is. It up to three thousand five. So let's take one five from it. You have two thousand left. Let's look at feeding, eating. How much do you spend in a month? I had a video that I did. Uh, I don't know if this video is up now. It's a vlog where I went to shopping. Like for that week, I shopped like twice. The first one was about 100 and something worthy. The second one was I spent like 150 worthy. Just in a week, I spent almost 250 and uh, almost 300 worthy. But that is not the case all the time. Most times, I spend much more hundreds watts in a week sometimes i may spend 50s watts in a week sometimes in a week i may decide not to go to the sh that's why i don't like going to that ocean most times if you go there you may decide to okay i want to pick one thing today 
you see other things that you want to pick these are not like fashion fashion things i'm talking about these are things that i need to eat food for myself so sometimes in a week i don't go shopping but at least in a month i will spend nothing less than 400 zloty so look at how much you can consume in a month on groceries telephone bills if it's up to 500 zloty calculate that so now you spent 2000 zloty how much do you have left you have one thousand. you have 1500 zloty out of 3005 let's assume you went on with 3500 zloty if you went on with 3000 zloty that means you have 1000 zloty left so now let's look at your tuition fee how much is your tuition fee that has a lot of role to play here because you can't compare someone paying tuition fee of 5000 euro with someone paying tuition fee of 2500 euro the both of you are not in the same level the kind of hustling the one that paid that you that pays 5000 euro per year <laughs> the hustling will be in another level compared to someone that pays 2500 euro per year so now let's look at the tuition fee how much do you pay for your tuition fee how much do you need to save from this money monthly that will be able to meet up to that tuition fee let's say your tuition fee is 5000 euro per, per year so that will be between 23,000 zloty to about 25,000 zloty depending on the exchange rate because this exchange rate fluctuates and if you are working in Poland so definitely they pay you in zloty and you may want to convert your zloty to euro so that still kills the value for you like I could remember in Bank Millennium app, I use Bank Millennium, I mainly use Satanda Bank app, but of recent I use Bank Millennium for dollar exchange. I was trying to convert hundred dollar to about to Zwoti. I was given, I think hundred dollar was given about four hundred something Zwoti. That is for dollar. So for euro, hundred euro is going to be like. 450 so it all depends what you need to do is look at the calculation so the calculation de de determines on the medium of your conversion which app you're using to convert are you going to contour to buy from them mind you majority in short 95 percent of these universities accept payment only in euro maybe because of the exchange rate maybe because they deal with international students Except few of them like cool accept in Zwarty. But majority of them they accept in euro, so you need to convert it. So for someone that have five thousand euro uh, tuition fee per year, you need to save more than one thousand five hundred zloty per month to meet up with that tuition fee. That means three thousand zloty is not enough for you. Except you want to go to where you get accommodation of six hundred zloty bills we bills now is 250 300 now only few ac accommodations that you end up paying 150 is worth it for bills very very few now everything has skyrocketed to like from 180 200 250 300 some even pay 400 a friend of mine was lamenting two days ago that he paid in his apartment he stayed in the two-bedroom apartment he and his brother he paid water bill 800 this exclusive of gas bill is not there phone bill is not there light bill but light bill came a bit cheaper 200 zloty so at the end of the day he paid like 1100 zloty for bills alone so if you were to be in a house where you are in a two bedroom apartment so definitely your bill is going to be like 350 400 500 but if it's a three bedroom apartment your bills is going to be like 200 180 250 300 if you are in a several bedroom apartment it's still within 180 250 200 zloty so if the the smaller the room the smaller the amount of room room in an apartment the higher you pay bills that's something i've noticed because i had a video with a i went to buy something from someone that studied in vc the accommodation i it was a two rooms though there are three there one of the rooms is a double room where her own single so they paid like I think she said she paid like 350 zloty per month for bills so it depends so now you factor this in but for someone that um pay tuition fee of 2500 euro per year you don't really need to like 
stress yourself too much. 1,000 Zwarty monthly savings is enough for you to pay your tuition fee. Because when you convert the 2,500 euro, it amounts to about... So for 2,500 euro, that means you have to pay 11,900 Zwarty. So you can save 800 Zwarty a month, 700 Zwarty a month. Yes, it all depends on the total amount of school fees you're going to pay. That is it. Someone with 5,000 euro tuition fee, you need to save more than one five zwoti per month. So most of um, like most of the Nigerians here, they use um, form A to P tuition fee. Like I use form A to pay tuition fee. So it makes it a whole lot cheaper for me. I save a lot of money. So I just pay in Naira, apply the form. It's just that the form it takes a whole lot of time. It takes three months, sometimes four months. Check your country. See how you can subsidize. If there's any subsidies to paying tuition fee, because that is how Nigerians are able to subsidize paying tuition fee. So it helps us to cut costs. So if you are in Nigeria, you could not, maybe probably you are not able to get um, work that can pay you as much as three, five, four thousand. And you're able to get maybe like two, five, three thousand. Maybe probably you just pay your tuition fee, convert that money to Naira, pay your tuition fee using form A. I think that's it's to save you a lot of cost. Yeah, but that doesn't mean you will not get work of five thousand. So during the summer, there's this particular kind of job that pays. I have I've had so many people saying that they were able to like save tuition fee. This job is within three, let's say four months, start around June, then end September. It's called working in the farm. Tomato picking, um, strawberry picking, and uh, I think there are other fruits you also pick. Those ones they pay like, uh, I can't recall how much they pay, but most people for that four months, they, they can make work their tuition fee. They can make money to be able to pay off their tuition fee just for that four months. Most people do that. They just work in the farm. And that farm work starts June, ends in September. I'm not so sure how much they pay per basket, but I think the tomato speaking pays more because you need to work every 12 hours and they pay, I think, about four, five zwarty per month. So imagine working and they don't tax it. Those kind of jobs are not tax. Yes, they don't tax those kind of jobs. <laughs> they don't tax it. So it's. Even if you are 26, 22, 30, 40, everybody in the same, you make the same money. So that's what I, that's what I love about those, those, uh, farm work. I've not done it before, but if I have the opportunity to do it, I will do it free. So even if your tuition fee is 3000 euro, you'll be able to pay it with that job, depending on how, how you, everything boils down to how can you do the job? Like you need to work don't like is you need manpower like you need to stand pick 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 so if you are able to work to to pick um fruits what 200 zwarty per day yes you can so there are so many factors involved in this so imagine working it to mantos you are paid for five in a month so for four months let's say you pay your rent one thousand so you, you you can save like for that four months you can save three three thousand zwarty that's like twelve thousand zwarty excluding your expenses that you've paid you and your rent so then you can then, then do other job because most people when they are working in a factory during that farm time they kind of like resign from the factory and do those farm work because if those farm work pays them better compared to the factory so the factory is during the winter they like doing that because just like a passive income so yeah that is the information i have for you so it's you i can't really say yes you can pay it i can't really say no you can pay it so your lifestyle now depends now may, looking at the the um cost of living and the how much you can make people make in factory people make up to five thousand zwarty per month yes People make up to 5,000. People make up to four or five. People make up to 6,000. So it all depends on your strength if you are able to work. So that determines if you can pay your school fees or not. So I, I can't really say yes or no. Just like, like those in the UK, you ask them, will the 20 hours a week be enough to pay tuition fee? Most people will tell you, no, it's not possible. Why some people are still 
they are still be they are still able to pay their school fees even if their school fees is about eleven thousand pounds per year they can still afford to pay it with same 20 hours work, depending on the job you you are able to get and depending on how many hours you're able to work because you are not limited to a certain hour here in poland unlike in uk where you are limited to a certain hour that is why most people are just factual that you 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 can meet up if most of the school fees is more than twelve thousand pounds here in poland for you to meet up with tuition fee of four thousand euro and above in a year you need a job more than four thousand zloty for you to meet up and those kind of job you can get it even if you decide to work in the factory all you need to do is take extra time extra shift and you'll be able to meet up maybe for six months you can take extra shift and you maybe you are able to like some people can some people do take extra shift and make six thousand zloty per month yeah so i'm not here to discourage you at the same time i'm not here to like make your hope so high i make you feel like oh this is a piece of cake this is a walk over you can oh, come on you can do this no i just want to like analyze things for you so it's not left for you to say oh yeah this thing i can do it or you can say no 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 i can't i can't so it all depends so all you need to do is come over and try to pay your first year tuition fee which is very very important so if you are able to pay your first year tuition fee so you will not be like under too much pressure maybe probably your first two months you may just chill relax and understand the environment and look at the kind of job that we actually work for you then in your third month or second month you start maybe you start somewhere they pay you not so much but just start off with that so before it's here in poland it's not really like in uk where if you've not paid your tuition fee they report you to home office it's until when it gets to the second semester like after you paid your one year tuition fee then your third semester tuition fee like your one year is first and second semester then your third semester tuition fee even if you've not paid but make sure you pay it before the end of that semester or latest than fourth semester in my university there are so many students that there's even they even wait till the next semester for they pay the previous semester tuition fee yes poland they will not chase you away the only thing is when you want to apply for resident permits you will need letter from the school to verify that you've paid your tuition fee and you attend class that is where the problem comes in aside that just keep studying keep getting keep working hard you'll be able to like don't give yourself too much pressure yeah it's not like uk that if you've not paid to if you've not paid they will report you to home office to deport you poland is not like that yeah so that's another good thing about poland so if you believe in yourself tell yourself that you can do this poland is one of the cheapest country in europe with the cheapest tuition fee trust me others are more expensive yeah more expensive and difficult to get jobs in other country poland is okay moderate is a good start for everyone and you may come here and find out that this place is cool for you and you keep living your life with your family enjoy yourself so guys that is all i have for this video and i hope you love it if you know you love this video give it a thumbs up and also like share with your friends and i will see you in my next video mm -hmm.